That, that is so impressive. It makes the theater we're going into seem like, oh, not, nah, not, nah, nah. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Disney Springs. It's the holiday season, so today we're gonna do a little bit of exploring around Disney Springs, see what kind of holiday decorations they have during the daylight hours, because we were here for the Christmas tree trail, it was a little bit darker, and see some new offerings like Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. This year, Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar has gotten a new style of holiday decor. Take a look at these wreaths right here, holidays up above. It's really, really cool to see. We're gonna go explore all around. Now, if I was hungry, I would definitely eat something inside because I have yet to eat anything inside Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. Let's take a quick look inside and see what's new. Take a look at all the decoration all around us. You can see wreaths up above made of, looks like bottle tops right there. You can see the garland strung from the ceiling here. And all around, it has a very nice Christmas vibe and feel. I even love the bow right there. I mean, the amount of details in this room are truly endless. All right, I'm gonna look around just a little bit. We're gonna find a few of those details. So the string light right here, absolutely fantastic. And there's even a bow right there on that bust. Wow. Truly magical look on top of this tank right here. I love the colors all around. Super festive. And then outside, the theme does carry over. On the boat, there aren't that many themed items. But you can see up there against the blinds over there, you can see more of the garland hanging up. I love it. Some of the servers are wearing special lights and special hats. You can see it follows all the way around the restaurant here. I love the theming all around. Take a look right up at the ceiling. You can see a lot of presents hanging up by those airplane parts and the different uh, bulbs and ornaments hanging down. You can see it really follows all the way along the restaurant. And you can see presents lining up against those uh, cabinets right there. That is so cool to see. It's like it's totally decked out for the holidays. I love it. It really went all out here. Now there is a special menu for the holidays. You can see Jack's Holiday Nog right there, Santa Hat Mojito, White Christmas Margarita, Cinnamon Bells, and Jack Frost. Very, very cool, just for the holiday season. Now in addition to the specialty drink menu, they also have a specialty food menu here. Take a look, C9 Light deviled eggs, the holiday caprese wreath. Looks delicious right there with the tomatoes. Oh my gosh, we might need to come back for some of these. The menu continues on here with those loaded pretzels, the queso dip, yum, sounds so, so good. Empanadas right there, you got Jingle Bell Pops. I like that, that that's super cool. You got that steak right there at the top, the flank steak. Club Obi-Wan chicken wings, so good. Snake bite sliders and two for 16 or one for nine with the Reuben or the, uh, the margarita there, wow. Good to know, happy hours 12 to three, Monday through Friday. There are some of the prices right there, specialty mug there, of course, and late night menu as well. Take a look at that. Friday and Saturdays only, 11 p.m. until close. You gotta have to be extra late here to get some of these items. Overall looks delicious and super festive. Lots to appreciate in terms of holiday decorations at Jock Lindsay's, but there's even more than Jock Lindsay's. You can see garland all around different restaurants like Paradiso 37, which is one we need to get to. I know, I know, lots to do, lots to do. We're on the hunt for as much holiday magic as we can find. And you know what? I can see something down there made of steel or something, some artwork that I wanna get a closer look at. Here they are right here. This looks really, really cool. Oh my gosh, it is penguins. That's super cute right there, look at that. You got the mom penguin, the dad penguin, and baby penguin right over there with a candy cane in hand. I love it. Super cute for the holidays. Now, as we go from this part of Disney Springs closer to Planet Hollywood and the Stargazers Bar, you can see holidays at Disney Springs. Now, that is something that I believe is brand new. So cool. Take a look at its silver garland all around the light poles over here. And as you make your way towards the orange garage, you can see a very special Christmas tree right there. A very unique Christmas tree right here. Take a look at that one. I have a feeling that it lights up at night right there. I'm pretty sure it does. You can actually see some of the lights even during the daylight. So I would imagine it's almost like an icon. As you make your way back to the car, you can see this tree, super nice. Now to my eye, it looks like the Earth, like almost like Spaceship Earth 
and then like maybe like the core of the planet going through it. I like that look a lot. Now walking up to Disney style right here, take a look at the steampunk style reindeer here. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've seen these before. Very, very cool, very unique kind of with that hip joint right there. Kind of looks like they need a little bit of oil right there, but a very cool design. And I love how the, uh, this is a collar right there with the bow, that is fantastic. Very smart design, right by Disney style. Can't tell which one I like more, the silver or the green. Part of me thinks that it was a good styling choice to kind of have both, a little bit of silver, a little bit of green. Just walked into the Star Wars store and you'll never guess what I found. Mandalorian hat. That's awesome. By the way, if you haven't been watching, I, I love that new show on Disney Plus, Mandalorian. It is so, so cool. They've even got shirts already. Super cool. And they've got even more. They've got more that Maybe we, okay, so Boba Fett gauntlet right there. There's just so much. There is so much for Mandalorian already, and we haven't seen all the episodes. So it, I, my word of advice is, before you come to Disney, make sure you see all the episodes of Mandalorian so that nothing is ruined for you. Because, yeah, that's, yeah. So, some of these things are like immediate, like this episode just came out. Really tempted by this hat though. This is, I have a couple hats, but uh, $29.99, all silver. Mandalorian hat. Super tempted. I want to see how the first season comes out though. I'm going to wait till the end of the first season, then, then I'll decide. You haven't seen it yet, but they already have, look at these statues for Frozen 2 here at Disney Springs. It's right across the way from the Marvel store if you're looking for a picture with these statues, but they're kind of hidden in plain sight. I love it. Frozen 2 now playing at AMC 24, a hidden, a hidden object there. You can see there's been a bit of a change since we were here last, Ample Hills. There's now a full construction wall up as they get ready to open it. I would imagine pretty soon. Now as we make our way to the end of Disney Springs over here, you can see the Circus Olay show, which is not open yet, is now under construction. Take a look, you can even see construction workers up there right now working on the brand new show. Now making my way back to the other side of Disney Springs and you can see the decorations continue on this walk right here. Take a look at the spiraling garland, the silver garland that goes around right there. I love this, this view right here, the cool breezes walking along Disney Springs. I am super hopeful that we'll see more drone shows here in the future. That was just so incredible. I loved the holiday drone show. What was it, two or three years ago at this point? miss it. I miss it so much and I would love to see more drones at Disney. Just walked by and got a whiff of the sunshine churro stand right here and I cannot begin to tell you what that smells like. Just deliciousness. Salted caramel, strawberry cheesecake, original cinnamon, apple cinnamon, cherry lemonade, fruity pebbles, peach mango, watermelon. I, we're, we're gonna have to try these later on. Take a look at Boathouse right here. We can see the garland up there with those helms right there or wheels of the ship. I love it, very cool. You can see it has that theme all the way throughout that garland. That's fantastic. Right outside the boathouse, they have these uh, buoys right here. Very, very cool. They got the snow woman and the snowman with that top hat right there. Awesome. Now, right next to Paddlefish, I noticed something very interesting. There's a kiosk right here just for Disney Plus. Wow. Just found out that this booth is for more information about Disney Plus if you're not already signed up and I signed up for a three year plan with a Disney Visa card, I signed up immediately. But they have a few more of these buttons. So if you're in the area close to this time, doesn't hurt to check if you didn't get one of these buttons. Holiday music in the air, crossing the bridge right now toward the Rainforest Cafe. And you can see under the Village Causeway, it's a tiny bit of greenery right there. And in the greenery, there are actually deer, reindeer, in there i love it now of course i wouldn't expect anything less of the days of christmas store right over there you can see the wreaths and garland all around and as we turn right toward goofy's candy company you can see some more garland right here oh and samples hi there what are we sampling Gingerbread. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. From Goofy's Candy Company, gingerbread with chocolate on top. Oh my gosh, that is really good. I'll be honest with you, some of the gingerbread that I've had in the past anyway was not really good. This is far better. Maybe this is just different from the resorts. I might actually have to go in there and see what kind because this is delicious. Almost like a ginger snack, like a lot of ginger. And there's definitely a lot of sugar. Glad we walked in here. Take a look at the pink garland right there. You've got green garland above the uh, tons of, oh, fun, purple over there. And the colors just continue on. That gingerbread was super, like, rich. Like, you can still taste, like, if you have, like, six ginger snaps. It, like, stays with you. Like, from Trader Joe's, if you had those before, like, the bucket. Super good, like that. Now, right next to Earl of Sandwich and Once Upon a Toy, close to the Void Experience over there, 
you'll find this super nice Christmas tree. I love it, very toy feel to it right there. And there's even some presents under the tree. There's a wooden dog right there, a couple boxes that have to be open on Christmas Day, obviously. And then looking up there, you can see a very nice star right there on the top. I love the um, kind of the wrap. I don't know what that would be called, like a, almost like a fishing line with a balls of string on it. Very, very cool. Great feel to it overall. Again, at night, all of this probably glows in the dark. Very cool. I got to come back for that. This is super cute right here, right across the way from the co-op. You'll see these dogs right here. And they're not just dogs for the holidays. They're made out of food. Take a look. The bow is pasta. You can see kind of the nose right there. And the eyes, I think, are either bagels or donuts right there truly adorable <laughs> a new part of disney springs for the holidays i'm sure now let's walk in world of disney for a moment and take a look at some of the holiday decorations in there you can see right outside they've already got some garland with the lights right there and once you walk inside look at that oh my gosh that is spectacular to see the garland hanging up and looking at it kind of like from afar here really adds to the experience let's go walk all the way back there you can see it's snowing right there i love to see this holiday it all throughout Disney Springs, but World of Disney, I think, wins this year. It's awesome. Projections on the wall right there, and you can see that Mickey mug that they're selling right there with the snowman and Mickey hat is larger than life right there, and then you could actually buy one right over here, right underneath him. That is so, so smart. I love it. They've got the train. Looks like it is not going around, so it just sits right there, but awesome to see. The trees covered with frost and snow. There's Chippendale playing in the snow. I love it. And you can see a lot of uh, that same, the same pattern on a lot of different items, whether it's on the ears, on ear hats, dresses, pajamas, everywhere. Wow. From Levi's to Volcom, all the stores seem to have some form of decoration, whether it's that big garland right up there or something smaller, like underneath their lights, right there. Every single store at Disney Springs seems to be getting in on the holiday fun. Now you may recall these from past years, the chandeliers at Disney Springs. There they are again. Truly fantastic. The large ones right there in the middle and the smaller ones on the outside. The garlands kind of uh, border each one and they continue on. So you see that larger than life tree way out there. There's a lot of sun on our face right there. That tree is out there for us to explore. And there it is, the main Christmas tree for Disney Springs, right here next to the Coach, Mac, and Zara stores. You can see it kind of follows the same trend as it did last year. A fantastic tree, super large here. I love the gold garland going all the way around and the uh, star Christmas tree ornament at the top. I think it's kind of like a snowflake, but a little bit of a star too, a little bit of both. Very, very nice overall. Great feel to it. Now inside this covered part of Disney Springs, it's a little bit different from past years. You can see those kind of uh, green chandeliers up above. Very cool. I do not remember those in the past, but something I do remember are these, uh, I'm going to call them the bedazzled reindeer right there. They were definitely here in the past, so a little change there. A great holiday feel overall, especially with a garland lining every shop all the way around. Now we've talked about it enough and actually mentioned it today. I do not have reservations to see Frozen 2. Usually I make these reservations pretty far in advance, but I do want to see it. I really do. So let's actually just stop by the theater, just stop by and see if they have any availability. Usually I would schedule this in advance. You have your seat and everything. Let's just see what they have. Sure enough, there was availability for Frozen 2, and I actually was texting David while I was standing there, and sure enough, he's gonna come and join us. We're gonna see it together. It's gonna be tonight. Let's go back right now. I'm gonna grab him, we're gonna come on back and see the show. It is all thanks to JR. JR, thank you so much for your gift card. I truly appreciate it. By the way, I wanted to mention, there's an annual pass discount here at AMC Disney Springs. If you're an annual pass holder, it went from like $16 to something like nine or $8. It was. I couldn't believe the savings. So I will triple check that and I will I will add it. But let me tell you, savings on movies like that, that's gonna make me come back to Disney Springs for movies again and again, because we're annual pass holders. So yay, all right, let's go see that movie. Let's grab David. Double check the receipt and it looks like it took $2 off of the price of the ticket, which is fantastic. I love that. See, that's, that's good thinking. That's very smart thinking. AMC, Disney Springs, annual pass holder discount. Yay. Luckily, David's at Epcot right now, so I can just drive over, pick him up, and we can see the movie together. Let's go. Beep, beep. Navigate to Epcot. 
And we're back at Disney Springs. David, are you excited for Frozen 2? I am so excited for it. Let's see how this one goes. It's gonna be fun. I've seen a few trailers. I don't think I've seen every single trailer. I've been trying my best to avoid spoilers, despite the fact that we know about some blue horse and some blue gecko. That, that's basically all I know at this point. A couple new characters, blue horse and blue gecko. We'll see what it's about. It's coming from the orange garage this time and take a look at that tree. It is all lit up as we predicted it would be. And you can even see the garland lit up on these light posts all around. Just take a look at that tree. Truly stunning. I think of the trees they have here at Disney Springs, this one's the most unique. And I think I like this one the best. I really, really do. Now we've got a few minutes before the movie starts and I had this thought I wanted to share with you. I, it's maybe just me, maybe just the fact that we're new to the area. But I have felt, ever since, you know, being here, the need to decorate my place has been, like, seriously diminished because we live here and there's so many decorations in the area. Now, it's true, in Maryland, there are a lot of decorations there, too, for the holidays all around, but it's very different in this area. In Florida, especially in Central Florida, it's, it's a tourist area. It, that's what, you're living in a tourist area. So... The decorations are maxed out, so you get like your total fill of decorations, and then when you go home, it's like, oh, maybe I'll put up a small tree, or maybe I'll just do a tiny bit of garland. It's not as much that you feel like you have to do, which it's not a bad thing, it's just different. And I, I have this feeling like it's probably going to change over time, so maybe in two or three years we'll say, okay, yes, I do want to decorate and get a tree and all that, but for now, I get my, my holiday fill when I'm at the parks or at Disney Springs. Take a look over here inside Planet Hollywood. I totally missed the bear with the top hat. Super cute right there. They even have a functioning nutcracker right here by the stairs at Planet Hollywood. And it's a huge nutcracker. I mean, this is, I'm six feet tall. It's a big nutcracker. Inside again, and we already ate, so no food this time, but uh, the food last time was okay. It was all right, we'll have to try more food again in the future. Frozen 2, so we're gonna learn about all about this little gecko guy right there that Olaf's holding, these uh, giant walker creatures, and that horse back there. Things we have no idea about, but we're gonna learn about now. Now, believe it or not, I already have a ticket for the Rise of Skywalker. We're gonna be seeing it opening weekend. Oh my gosh, this, this one really has my attention. Frozen 2, Frozen 2, big excitement about that too, but Rise of Skywalker is just like, here it comes. Take a look at this. We're not seeing it in Dolby vision, but this is the entrance for the Dolby theater where it's like an animated short in front of the theater. That, that is so impressive. It makes the theater we're going into seem like, oh, not, nah, not, nah, nah. It's like, oh, wait, I want to go over here. All right, so that means we're going to have to try a Dolby vision movie here in the future, no doubt. I, I've never seen this ever before. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a Rise trailer. No. Whew. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what? Wow, let me tell you, Disney advertising does such a good job. Such a good job. Okay, it's movie time. Just finished Frozen 2. I gotta tell you, I was really impressed. I really did like it a lot. Dave and I were talking about it. There were a lot of songs. There were a lot of songs there. My personal favorite part was Olaf and the retelling of the story of Frozen 1. That was the best part by, I was cracking up. Whole theater was cracking up with that one. Yeah, what was your favorite part? You gotta love that part. That was a great one for sure. I love the concept too of the, the spirits and how they tied into the story. They really did a great job with the storytelling. I feel like that was well done. And they, there were a lot of pieces to it that were really, really well done. I can't think of a thing to improve here. You know, there were a lot of songs. That was, you know, it was good. It was not a bad thing. Was, then there were some strong, I, I'm not gonna say like adult themes, but it was, it was like almost not meant for kids. At moments, there were moments where it was like, no, 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 this is not meant for kids, but it worked out in the end as you would imagine. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I really enjoyed it. That was a really good follow-up. And just like that, our day has come to an end. Truly fantastic to experience some of the holiday decorations around Disney Springs and Frozen 2. You know I'm gonna be making those references. Like I'm lost in the woods here of Disney Springs for, for a little while. Oh, it was so much fun. Thanks so much for sharing the magic with me today. Until next time. Have a magical day. See you real soon.